In this video, I'm going to walk you through design tips and best practices for social media graphics. Roll the intro. We are surrounded by information. It comes from everywhere, whether it be our online or offline. Our sensory system receives inputs and transmits them to the brain. The process of recognizing and interpreting the inputs is called perception. Among all kinds of perception, sound, touch, taste, smell, etc., visual perception is primary. Since 90% of information that comes to our brains is visual, based on this, both marketers and designers recognize the importance of using visual materials in marketing strategies. Today, we are going to talk about ways of making effective visual content for social media. When it comes to social media marketing, otherwise known as SMM, graphic design is a decisive part of any overall content strategy. No matter how great the text is, no one will notice it unless it's accompanied with nice visuals. To grab people's attention in the middle of browsing. When telling a company's story, the graphics, it's important to keep in mind strategic goals applicable to a specific marketing channel. Depending on the business type, SMM can work for different purposes. Let's look at the e-commerce business model. Running a B2C, otherwise known as business to customer business, owners can get customers through social media because their leads reach the final stage of the sales funnel without even leaving social media networks. A B2B, otherwise known as business to business companies, are more focused on direct potential leads to their websites in order to introduce those leads to the company and demonstrate the company's expertise. That's why designers should work out visual materials based on the business model and marketing strategy. Not only marketing goals, but also social media networks affect visual design. If the company communicates to its Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn audience in an official way rather than a friendly way, the design should support the tone with suitable colors and typography. Whereas visual materials designed for Instagram and Snapchat should be more casual and relaxed. Let's take a look at types of visual content in social media marketing. Graphics. Original graphics and unique illustrations help content to stand out on social media news feeds. Photos, eye-catching and creative photos are great to show what goes behind the scenes. And then videos. Everyone knows that nice videos get more engagement on social media. And then there's animations. Animated interactions are a great way to grab your followers' attention or show a sneak peek of the story you are going to tell. Then there's quotes. Being highly shareable on social media, inspiring quote cards are great at reflecting your company's values. Then there's screenshots. Skip along descriptions with informative screenshots. Plus, there's data visuals. Data visuals or infographics, maps, charts, diagrams, and etc. are one of the best ways to make complex information understandable. Then there's ebooks. Mixing textual information with visual materials, ebooks are a valuable resource. And then there's presentations. Slides are one more tool for making data structured and coherent. They help to communicate to a target audience, especially for a B2B company. Now we have put together some design tips that might come in handy to create masterly graphics 
for social media. First, we're going to talk about color. As we've mentioned in another video, colors have an extraordinary ability to affect people's mood and cause different emotions based on their cultural and personal background. When picking the right hue, the designer should keep in mind the message to communicate the company's tone of voice and the specifics of a particular social media network. The primary task is to make a visual eye-catching. Not many users go onto a company's page to check recent posts. Most page followers look through updates by scrolling news feeds, so you have less than a few seconds to make a user stop and read your message. Deviate from monotonous color combinations. Try to insert new tints, even if you already have a custom color palette that reflects your brand's personality. Don't be afraid to use bright colors. Surprise page followers with a fresh pop of color to boost social media engagement. At the same time, keep a balance. You don't want your image to look overwhelming. Next, we're going to talk about contrast. Human eyes love contrast. Contrast can be related to color, size, texture, shape, layout, type, and so on. It provokes human visual senses and catches attention, which is super important nowadays when you're going through news feeds only briefly. Contrast is a helpful tool for organizing a few graphical objects and putting the focus on a certain visual element. Contrast can strengthen a design idea, connect and complement elements, or make the whole image meaningless and confusing. Next, we're going to talk about typography. Making people read a text on a picture is even harder than making them notice the picture. That's why picking the right font and structure is essential in designing visuals for social media. According to statistics, the number of smartphone social network users is going to reach 186.3 million per month by 2020. Think of this number when designing another visual with text on it. And make sure your message is readable on a smartphone screen. People don't like complicated typography on social media. Users want your message to be clear and comprehensible, so make legibility a priority. However, heavily text-focused images can be boring. Try to add related icons to your message or play with the size, colors, and weights. Next, we're going to talk about style. Style in design has a broad definition. It's a complex combination of colors, typefaces, compositions, and so on. Style makes a design recognizable. Some designers believe that sticking to the same style is not beneficial for their portfolio. It is important to try different techniques and approaches in order to grow professionally. This is applicable to the design for social media visuals. Diversify your style to surprise page followers with original design solutions, and they will never be tired of your company's content. And then there's templates. Try to create a few templates for the same type of content. If you make tutorials on a weekly basis, you may use the same template for each tutorial announcement. With pre-made templates, your audience will know where the post comes from and what kind of message it communicates. Another benefit of using templates is that non-designers can craft quick posts for social media 
by themselves. Design a few go-to templates to save yourself time. Then there's branding. Integrating branding is one more simple tip. Visuals are shared over social media networks a lot. Make sure people are able to identify your company. With branding you add to each image, it's better to mention your company's name or website rather than add a logo unless your company is world famous and its logo is well known. Your branding shouldn't distract attention from the message you want to deliver, but it should be easy to find when someone starts looking for it. Then there's hierarchy. Help your audience comprehend information quickly and precisely using visual hierarchy. In a previous video devoted to the principles of visual hierarchy, we mentioned that these principles are based on Gestalt's theory. According to this theory, humans tend to perceive an entirety of objects before they detect the individual object through structured visual characteristics like size, color, contrast, repetition, proximity, texture, alignment, and etc. Designers are able to make users' eyes follow certain reading paths and draw users' attention to the most important elements. And then there should be a call to action. It's great to make a design that catches people's attention. But attention is not enough for social media marketers. Social media marketers want their audience to be active by sharing, liking, and commenting. So don't forget to add call to action elements and encouraging text to your designs. Then there's clarity. Whether your design is simple or complex, it should be clear, especially with regarding to social media graphics. Don't overdo the design and keep the balance between simplicity and informativeness. You don't have much time to impress followers, so ensure your message is obvious. Visual graphics are an integral part of any social media marketing plan, and the designer's contribution to the success of a marketing strategy is undeniable. As a designer, you should take into account marketing goals and your company's own when creating any visuals for social media. And don't forget the main rule coupled with social media. Never stop experimenting. And that was the best design tips and best practices for social media graphics. If you got value, then smash that like and subscribe button. And don't forget, if you can dream it, we at Bizon can help you design it. So keep on dreaming, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!